couple of French players have been speaking to the media a short time ago. Our senior reporter, Melissa Reddy, uh, was there to hear the French aspect ahead of this big game on Saturday and joins us live now. Uh, hi there, Melissa. Uh, before we get into the, the press conferences and, and what was said, let's start with an update on Kylian Mbappe. Well, as we speak, he's out on the grass. He's back in training. No surprise there. I know there's a lot of fuss and commotion around him because he is the top scorer on the World Cup, at the World Cup. He's breaking records at 23 that we haven't seen slashed for a very, very long time and putting his name alongside the very greats of the game, Diego Maradona, Eusebio, those ilk. But he was in a recovery session yesterday, which, as I was trying to explain, is pretty normal. But even when you try and say that, you cannot stop the, you can't stop everybody talking about why he isn't there, why he's missing and trying to find conspiracy theories. But he's all good. He's out on the grass. And Konate was saying as well, you know, the French camp were pretty much laughing it off, all, all the noise around it, because it was standard procedure. Yeah, you mentioned Ibrahim Konate there, the Liverpool player. Uh, Adrian Rabio was the other player put up to speak to the media. You, you've heard from them both. What, what's the general mood in, in the camp and what, what's the, the feeling ahead of this game on Saturday? Trent Alexander-Arnold, we were told, actually messaged Konate as soon as it was confirmed that England and France would be meeting each other. And it was quite a friendly text, but Kanate was telling us this rivalry is anything but friendly. He's played against England even at under-16 level, and he said it was really tense. It's always quite a, a tight tussle. And he said the atmospheres around those France-England games just feel totally different to him. He's expecting quite a difficult challenge, he says. He knows all about the English game, obviously, now. Being in the Premier League, he knows that the intensity is at the highest level. The concentration of the players is enormous because the domestic league is so strong. And he also said he's looking forward to that battle between Kyle Walker and Kylian Mbappe, which is obviously where all eyes will be during that showdown. I think Dave the Cat will even be watching because he probably does want to go home with <laughs> Walker. But the, the sense from France is actually, you, you know, I think previously maybe England would have been underestimated a bit, but they've been talked up quite a bit by both Kanata and Rabio. Rabio was saying, you know, he looks at their midfield players and he, he likes the balance. He thinks they're very complementary of each other, just as the France midfield has been. He spoke about um, how well England have done in the previous tournaments building up to this one, both the 2018 World Cup and the Euros, and saying, you know, you can see their progress as a side. The other thing was there was a lot of talk on Harry Kane and Kanata was saying he knows how silly it would be to simply focus on shutting Kane out of the game. And probably, you know, the France team are thinking, why is everyone in England speaking about Mbappe? There's other players they need to worry about. So I think it's, it's that sense of both these sides know that it's not going to be easy for for either of them. But France, I have to tell you, there's a sense here from the journalists that cover them, who at the start of this tournament, they didn't have any high expectations really because of the absentees. But the way France have dealt with their setbacks, you get the sense from the mood around the players and the journalists that they feel quite confident that they can defend their World Cup crown, even though it is a massively rare thing to do. Melissa, for now, thanks very much indeed.